What's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I have the 24 1.8 from Samyang. Quick disclosure, Samyang didn't send me this lens or sponsor me in any way. I actually bought this lens with my own money. Um, and we're gonna talk about the reason why I bought it, mainly because of the price, the bokeh, and it's a 1.8. And look how small it is. I've been really excited about this one because I've been looking out for a good 24 mil prime lens. Um, that's about a 35-36mm equivalent on APS-C. I shoot with the Sony a6600 and the 35mm is surprisingly my favourite portrait uh, fashion shoot lens. You get the whole environment, you get a bit of depth of field but not too much, especially at 1.8. I was really attracted to this lens because not only because of the price but I've been hearing a lot of good things about Samyang and their build quality, their bokeh and also the ability to shoot both photo and video that's something that i'm really considering when i'm buying lenses not only the size the price and how sharp they are okay so this little beautiful 24 will set you back 450 usd uh that's about 750 australian for myself and it's the cheapest 24 mil prime that i can find in comparison for the price we've got the sigma 1.4 which is about a four year old lens that's 790 usd we have the new 24 sigma uh, f2 that comes in at 640 USD. We have the Sony Zeiss 1.8, a very old lens, but a very good lens. That comes in at 700 USD. And the Sony G Master 1.4 is in a complete league of its own. It's on for, for around 1300 USD. <laughs> So here is the build quality of the Samyang 24mm. It's pretty solid, it's a plastic build, but it's a really nice plastic. It's kind of the same plastic that the Sony make their cameras out of. Same matte black finish, same texture. Uh, we've got a weather sealing gasket on the back. Very, very essential. All lenses should be coming standard with that. We have a custom switch, and we've got a focus hold button. And also for astrophotography, you can set this up to do focus infinity in terms of focus we have a really smooth focus ring and this is only 230 grams or 71.5 mils in height or 2.8 inches in height and for a comparison this being a full frame lens at 1.8 
Here's my Sigma 1.4 APS-C only lens. And they look basically the same size to me. I haven't weighed or measured them. Uh, I believe this has got a 55mm thread. This has got a 58mm thread. Yeah, 58mm thread. Um, and I think it's a pretty beautiful lens. I mean, you got these options with these custom buttons, focus hold, very nice um, focus ring if you're into manual focus. And yeah, and it also comes with a little case. Quick sharpness test. We're not going to spend too long here because it's pretty boring. At f1.8, we have a pretty good image. Zoomed in 300% of the center. You can see a slight chromatic aberration, good sharpness, and good contrast at f2.8. Wow, look at that. We've got good contrast, the chromatic aberration's gone away, and it's a very sharp image at 2.8. At f11 is when it starts to soften off, but we still have good contrast and no chromatic aberration. Okay, if we look back to 1.8, we're gonna look at corner sharpness now. I'm gonna zoom right in 300% into the corner. Wow, look at that, that's a very sharp image. Wide open at 1.8 for a 24 mil. If we go to 2.8, perfectly sharp, perfect contrast. That's an amazing lens and corner sharpness. Quite a hard thing to do in wide angle lenses. And F11, is it starts to soften off around, similar to the F1.8. So all in all, very sharp lens and good contrast. Okay, so I'm super happy with pulling the pin and trying out Samyang. I was real skeptical, eh? I was like, oh, should I I'll just, I'll just get a Sigma F2? It was an all metal design, it looked pretty cool. But I think I'm gonna stick with Samyang. Yeah, so I'm super happy with my purchase. I think from now on, I'm just gonna purchase Samyang lenses instead of Sigma. I mean, Sigma make really great lenses, but um, for the price, the build quality, the bokeh, uh, the autofocus, I can't really fault it. Here's my 30mm 1.4, and that's only a year old, brand new, and it's back focusing, back focusing like crazy. I haven't dropped it, I haven't done anything to it, I think I've just worn it out. Like, I just love that now we have so many different options for e-mount users. Um, compared to Canon, for some reason, they're not opening up their RF system. I mean, I really like the look of that R6. It looks like a pretty sick camera. The R5 sick. Um, but yeah, there's just no lens options. It's a real shame because next year, um, Canon might be bringing out, and Sony might be bringing out a new APS-C camera. It's gonna be a bit of a battle. I'm hoping to see like 4K 16 a crop maybe. Um, definitely 10-bit color. And yeah, it's gonna be real interesting, but Canon, man, you just gotta open up that RF system. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm really excited to, to buy and test out some more Samyang glass. Um, they're super cheap, super affordable for their primes. Yeah, so if you wanna pick yourself up one of these 24 1.8 lenses, um, there's some links in the description below. Uh, they are affiliate links, it really helps me out if you click on those links and buy through my links. Yeah, if you really like this video, if you like this type of style of video, of this lens review, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, just leave a comment what you didn't like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and make as much content as I can possibly. I've got some really cool POV videos coming up of like beach and city before I head back to Australia. Uh, I'm currently in New Zealand. And yeah, if there's any other content or anything you wanna see, I've got a couple other lenses I can review, but they're pretty old. Um, yeah, cheers, thanks for watching. See you next time.